you going for? Clips in my Alabama. I'd like to call this regular meeting of the Jacksonville Planning Advisory Board to order. At this time, if you would please stand, we'll be led by the Pledge of Allegiance by Dr. Lassan and the invocation by Alan Hees. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for this privilege of serving the Jacksonville Planning Board. Lord, what a privilege it is to be a part of, of the city and to be able to participate. So, Lord God, I pray that this evening that you would give us wisdom as we uh, discuss the meeting, the, the information that is before us. We pray that, Lord, that things will be good and in good order. We pray also, Lord, for our armed forces, uh, Lord, that are deployed around the world uh, today, and we pray as well for those that are uh, here within the country. We pray for our law enforcement, our government officials, and uh, this board. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> I trust that everyone's taken a look at the agenda. Mm -hmm. If there are no corrections, a motion to approve the agenda may be in order. I would make a motion to approve the agenda. We have a motion by Ms. Vanderveer to approve the agenda as presented. Any seconds? Second, Second from Mr. Lewis. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve the agenda, please signify by raising your right hand. All those opposed, like. Motion passes. I trust that everyone's had a chance to look through the minutes of the last meeting, our December 14th meeting. If there are no corrections, the motion would be in order. If someone please make that. I move that the minutes be approved as written. We have a motion from Mr. Keyes, second by Mr. Dorn, to approve the minutes as presented. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your right hand. All those opposed, like. Motion City Council update. Councilman Warden. Thank you, sir. Uh, I've been uh, told by uh, Pam that, uh, that the City Council has been slack the last month and there's nothing to report. <laughs> case of no news is good news? The no news is good news. Uh, but on behalf of the City Council, Happy New Year to each and every one of you. And uh, again, thank you for your continued service uh, for this beautiful city of Jacksonville. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, there being no old business, we'll move right to new business. You're up. Hey, Mr. Chairman, members of the Planning Advisory Board. First and only item tonight is a special use permit and type three site plan for Freedom Worship Center, 1250 Maplehurst Road. Location on Old Maplehurst Road on the screen before you. This is in our extraterritorial jurisdiction. <coughs> this is the aerial photography of what was a former mobile home park. It has been demolished. Um, so it is, for lack of a better way to say, it's undeveloped now. Um, the mobile homes have been removed and the pads have been broken up and it's just a, it's vacant lots. This property is zoned it's split zone to RSF 20 and RSF 7 to the north. Um, it is bound by a property to the north and to the east that is are also zoned residential single family 7. Uh, the property to the east is owned by Onslow County Board of Education it is Southwest Middle School property. To the south is RSF 20 undeveloped property and across Maplehurst is the Onslow County Planning Jurisdiction. Freedom Worship Center of Jacksonville has submitted this special use permit and type 3 site plan application. Um, the plan was prepared by John Pearson Associates. Um, the proposed 6,615 square foot religious institution as our unified development ordinance terms it, in this case a church, is proposed on four and a half acres. 
Uh, currently, that acreage is divided among five lots. Uh, the one loan condition that staff is recommending on this approval is that a recombination plat meeting our standards and requirements be submitted, reviewed, and approved. Um, parking for a church, as uh, defined in the UDO, Article 5, Section 5.1 for churches, is four is one spaces per four seats of the sanctuary and one space per 200 square feet of all other area. In this case, that this site plan identifies a required 75 spaces. That would be there are 225 seats in the proposed sanctuary, equaling 57 spaces. In the other building area, totaling 3,500 square feet, requires 18 for a grand total of 75 required, and they are proposing 75 spaces. There is no additional buffering triggered by this property because the adjacent properties are also zoned residential. However, they will be installing the required four-foot perimeter lawn. As proposed, this site would be serviced by Onwasa Water and on-site septic system. Staff is recommending approval of this site plan and special use permit with findings of fact A through G being found in the affirmative with the condition of the aforementioned uh, recombination plat. <coughs> is this connected at all to the church that's next to it? Yeah, it is completely separate. And, uh, Jeremy, is... Are you aware, if, is the land next to this um, of a nature that could possibly used, be used for overflow parking or something else if they need it? They, is, as uh, Mr. Pierce explained, the church has left that open because the proposal was within their financial constraints right now, but they did want to have space for future, possible future expansion and any stormwater management that would be required. Or if you throw up a tent and you have some type of uh, Very cooking, you know, eating event over on the side. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I noticed there are three handicapped spots here. Correct. Is that uh, that's per formula? Is that is per North Carolina building or accessibility code? That's the, is, does that formula change for the use of the building, or is it just a straight out? You have 75 parking spaces. You have to have three handicapped. Are you aware? Yeah, this is this is a percentage of the parking. Yeah. But at regardless one point, of what it's used yeah, for. At one point it was one percent. I don't know what the percentage is now, but how many parking spaces you have, a certain percentage has to be handicapped. It doesn't have anything to do with the use. And then there's a certain percentage that has to be van accessible and some that do not. That's why you see some on this screen. One's got the wide van accessible <laughs> aisle, so it's eight feet and eight feet, and the other only has a five foot. So and then if you look at the cookout on South Marine Boulevard, they actually have a different configuration where there's more than one way to do an ADA space, but um, it, it meets those standards. I had a question regarding the uh, on-site septic. Uh, the map was really, really hard to read, the one that was set out, and uh, so I wasn't, wasn't sure if that was a septic fill or not. Is, is that is that new? Is that going to be new, or, or is it from the existing trailer park? The way the environmental health will permit it is there are several existing permits with the individual mobile homes. Yeah. Uh, this is just with Discovery today. Um, it's a consolidation of permits into one for the church. Okay. And so they will have their system is re-identified, as you see on the screen. Re-identified, but the existing septic fill? It is a new proposed field for them, Okay. but uh, no longer are they, do they have the multiple septic tanks on site. It would be just the ones used for the church now. Okay. Be because originally you had 15 or 20 trailer par right. trailers I there, each with their own system? or um, I, can, I couldn't confirm that with Environmental Health today. Um, some could be, you could have two or three on one s system, but there were multiple systems out there. That I did confirm. And now you're talking the possibility of only saying, ha having a couple of, you know, maybe four restrooms in this place? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had shared septic systems out there. Yeah. I lived out there. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, 
I don't see a uh, retention pond. Is that a requirement for this? No, sir. Department? They are not being required because they are using the, they get credit for the existing impervious that was out there with okay. the mobile home okay. in addition to another 10,000 square feet. But at a future expansion could trigger that or a future impervious could trigger that. But at this time, they are not meeting that requirement. Okay. Any, any other questions? I would like to note that the city has asked, uh, planning board, the planning department has asked that they do a recombination? Correct. That is the loan condition that they submit a recombination plat combining the five individual lots into one. Um, yeah, mainly for, it keeps the development on one unit, but it also eliminates building code issues. Oh, okay. The land to the left of this what is that um, in, in this case to the left is I believe if you're looking at the site plan to the left would be United Kingdom Church or no, Kingdom I'm, Hall I'm, I'm talking about uh, uh, in this particular area that uh, all the building is to, on the right side um, to the because that, that is this right here? this area that we're looking at, isn't it? This is part of their development site. However, what I've highlighted there is um, the uh, Duke Progress transmission line. There will not be any development within there because Duke would not allow it. Um, this property here is the, other, the uh, existing church. Um, this is Southwest Middle School property. And then to the right is undeveloped. Question. Yes, sir. Um, what What are a few things that um, that didn't comply with applicable um, city standards? I asked that question because you said it's going to be on a septic system and not on the um, on the city sewer. So I was just curious. Um, from my understanding, uh, or the way the city's policy is, is in the ETJ, so they're not required to connect on the city utilities because they're not readily available. Um, I'm not versed enough in to where sewer is closest to this property but I knew I know the city has a lift system, lift station on Blue Creek Road but that would be the nearest location but because of their because they're in the ETJ um, they do not trigger a requirement they're not within proximity of uh, city utilities to require a connection so what what are the what are a few of the um the city standards that um that they're not complying with. Did you not, did you meet all the development standards? They comply. We got something in at the last minute. So you would have seen additional conditions, but they got the plans revised right before we printed the packets. So the plan complies with all applicable city standards. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, I misunderstood what you asked. Very good discussion. Good questions. Thank so you. We can strike the con that's up here then. Correct. So you meant under B? That under B. Thank you. It's recommended. I'd like to remind you that if you if you're in your motion, would you uh, mention uh, findings of fact also? And this motion would cover both the um, single-use permit and the site plan, correct? Okay. What are the wishes of the board? I'd like to make a motion that we approve the special use permit and site plan as presented. Um, I guess, well, that's my motion. Uh, do you have questions? Yes. A, let's see. A, we don't need B anymore, right? Right. But C and D. Right. But uh, it, it, are you, is your motion to conditionally approve the special use permit based on the findings of fact A through G? And then what about the recombination of the flats that the city requested? A. <clears throat> Wait a minute. They want this added okay. into it. All right. Okay. Yes. Submission and approval of a 
recombination plant prior to the building permit being applied for. Okay, so is that your motion? Yes. Okay, so if I hear it correctly, see if you, see if you approve. It's conditionally approved the special use permit and site plan with the following condition. Submission and approval of recombination plant prior to the building permit being applied for. Is that, that is your motion? Yes. Okay, may we have a second? Second. We have a second from Ms. Nelson. Sorry. Ladies took preference. Oh, you fine. Any <laughs> other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your right hand. All those opposed, like. Motion passed. Thank you. Reports. New Year. <laughs> Very good. Any other discussions? Hearing those, a motion to adjourn would be in order. Motion. A motion for Mr. Dorn. Second. Second. Mr. Lewis. All those, all those in favor, please signify by raising your right hand. Okay, we're out of here.